Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with my first layout using the September Hip Kits. So I love the colors in these kits and I really wanted to use my favorite paper which is this yellow and kind of creamy color. It's a grayish cream pattern paper. But I also really wanted to use some of these Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers paper that have that cobalt blue in it, which I normally don't gravitate towards like primary colors in my projects. I tend towards like a softer, more pastel palette, but I love these papers. I just think they're so much fun. So I'm going to select a few to use at, um, as layering underneath my photograph. And I'm going to fuss around with this floral paper because I want to make sure I get part that has the yellow in it to tie in with that. That paper is from Dear Lizzie Documentary. I forgot to say that. The yellow background paper. And it has a really cool, like, like almost sweater texture on the background. And I didn't want to leave it just plain because I wanted it to have a little something something. So I'm going to apply a super thin layer of gesso to the background. And I'm just using this Martha Stewart gesso that I've had for probably four or five years. And it just it works great. And it's a little bit thinner than other gesso, so it's really easy to spread. And I just wanted to make sure it was a really thin layer so that I could still see those yellow hearts through it. And I don't, I can't remember the last time I made a layout on using a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper as my background. I've been using watercolor paper and craft and white paper for a long time, but I, every once in a while there's a paper that just really grabs me and I know that I want to use it as the full background. So I'm applying some gelatos and the color is boysenberry using the packaging technique. And then I'm also going to use a paintbrush and flick some just dots of the same color on the background. And then I'm going to let that dry. And I actually, I didn't let it dry. You should let it dry though. I should heed my own advice. What I did was use my heat gun on it and it made it get a little bit warpy. So I end up using a ton of foam adhesive on the back of it and putting it on a piece of white cardstock. But you can't, it doesn't really show up that much. So I'm going to be using some of the pieces from the uh, Finders Keepers embellishment pack to add some layers behind the photograph. But this layout is, again, something different that I haven't done in a long time. It's going to focus mainly on the title. It's like picture and title share the same amount of real estate on the layout because I really wanted to use that piece of chipboard. And it is from the Crate Paper Wander die cut phrases pack and it comes with some chipboard phrases and some wood veneer phrases and they're really big they like definitely are big enough to make a title and then I also really wanted to use these thickers from the Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers line they're so different and I just really liked how they um they incorporated all the colors that are in this layout and normally it you don't have thickers that do that they're just like one color so I wanted to tie in the yellow with that cute title and then tie in all the other colors with the rest of the title. So the title is so cute but so bad. So I'm going to put this strip from the ephemera pack down and I'm going to use that as a kind of a holding place to put the word but and I'm going to use the Ellie Studio um, little alphabet stickers for, um, to do the but. And I the, I have the main kit and the embellishment add-on, and I just put them all together in my storage box, so I'm not sure which collection or which kit those stickers are from. I believe most everything else is from the main kit, but I, again, I could be wrong because I kind of I put them all together. So I'm just going to fuss about with the placement of all of this and add... A bunch of heart die cuts from the ephemera pack and then also some of the little enamel hearts that are super cute and then at the end I believe it's at the very end I'm going to add some of the washi tape to different places on the layout I also used a piece of the ephemera that says really on it because you can see that our little puppy Ellie there is licking the chair priming it to start chewing on it which actually she didn't chew on it which I was surprised by but I also used one of the arrow paper clips to hold that in place, and I really like the way that looks. I think it turned out super cute. So that's pretty much going to finish up the layout for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing. I started to put some of, or I did put some of the rub-ons down um, behind the little cluster, 
and they didn't, I don't know if maybe my gesso wasn't completely dry, but they didn't stick very well. So what I did, and I actually love the way it, it turned out, the pieces that didn't stick, I just kind of moved around the layout and added them down. And then I also did that with some of the, um, the rub-ons that have little X's on them that kind of look like stitching. I just, I purposely didn't stick them down all the way and put them all over the layout. So it kind of looks like paint or maybe um, just some things that are kind of decoupaged on the paper or something. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, but it ends up looking really cool and you can see it better in the final picture. So stay tuned to the end to see the final photos. So I hope y'all are enjoying your September kits. And if you're not a subscriber yet and you'd like to join the Hip Kit Club, at the end of the video, I'll have a graphic that will have a coupon code for you to get a free pattern paper add-on with your new subscription. So again, thanks guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out all the other fabulous design team members videos that are part of the, um, the team. They put out lots of great videos and there's tons of great subscriber videos. Y'all are awesome. I see it in my feed all the time. I see process videos using your hip kits and I love seeing them and I love seeing y'all's different take on the the kits. So here are those close-up pictures I talked all the way to the end. Thanks again guys and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.